President. The Honourable Liz Paget. To bring to the attention of the House a matter that uh, disturbs me greatly. It disturbs my colleagues on this side of the House greatly. It disturbs this government that I represent greatly, and I know for a fact that it disturbs the members of the opposition and other parties greatly also. And the matter that I'm referring to is the rise of a group called the Australia Defence League in Western Australia and in Australia in general. A number of members will have been in receipt of a letter from Dr Ratab Janaid, who is the President of the Islamic Council of Western Australia, inviting members to attend a meeting that they are going to hold on the 21st of May to discuss this issue of the Australian Defence League. Unfortunately, I'm not able to attend that meeting, um, as I generally would definitely attend a meeting of this nature, to discuss those issues that are greatly concerning um, our fellow Muslim citizens in this state. As I'm attending a citizenship ceremony on that day, something that I'm very proud to do, as I know all members of this House are very proud to do, and no doubt on that day I'll be welcoming a few more Muslims as citizens of Australia. And I'm very proud to do that. But what I'm not proud of is when I see groups such as the Australian uh, Defence League growing uh, in support around this country. I just want to take um, a moment of time for a bit of background about these far-right groups that are starting to uh, raise their head in Australia. Um, and we know that there are groups such as Blood and Honour Australia um, that are around there, uh, backed by Mr Geert Wilders, who, uh, in my opinion, has no place uh, in coming to Australia. And I was very glad to see that his visit was blocked some time ago. Um, in June 2012, um, the then Minister for Multicultural Interests was asked to comment um, about a meet and greet that was planned by Blood and Honour Australia with regard to Mr Geert Wilders, um, and the response at that time stated, growth of any group that promotes disunity is an issue for concern. It is the right of every Australian to express their views. However, with that right comes responsibility. An important aspect of that responsibility in a multicultural society such as Western Australia is respect for difference. Western Australian government has zero tolerance to racism. Fairness and equality are key features of our society. Fairness includes freedom from prejudice, discrimination and exclusion on the basis of characteristics such as origins, perceived race, culture, religion, ethnicity and nationality. Equality is about the right of all members of our community to achieve their full potential and is equal before and under the law. Websites and views that promote ideas contrary to these values are not supported, and nothing um, has changed, in our opinion, since that time that we wouldn't hold true today uh, to those comments that were made. Um, in, on the 3rd of October 2012, our Premier, the Honourable Colin Barnett, stated that the far-right Dutch politician Geert Wilders would not be welcome in Western Australia because he would offend Muslims and could trigger violent protests, and that's something that none of us in this House want to see happening um, in, in our uh, country at the moment. Currently, um, the Australian Defence League um, is an anti-Islam far-right group which exists primarily on social media but with the intentions of forming a larger social movement. The group first appeared in New South Wales in early 2010 um, and it is reported that this group initially formed as, as an informal project of the far-right Australian Protectionist Party. Um, this group is also affiliated with the English Defence League, an active far-right group known for football hooliganism, street marches and violence, something, again, that none of us uh, in this place would condone. Um, it's a registered not-for-profit organisation, but at the moment it's unclear um, how it's organised. Um, 
it's, it's largely, as I said, existing um, on Facebook and other social media um, at the moment. According to its official website, its objective is to defend the Australian people by maintaining our way of life and to protest and confront all those who to seek to pervert our way of life or segregate our communities. Um, our way of life encompasses um, the Muslim community. Our way of life encompasses the Hindu community. Our way of life encompasses the Buddhist community. Our way of life encompasses everybody here in Western Australia, and in particular the attacks that are currently happening uh, against um, uh, the Islamic people in our community are to be uh, abhorred. Um, in any way, shape or form. Um, we've seen uh, Muslim women in New South Wales in particular being stalked and maliciously photographed and then cyberbullied um, by Australian Defence League members. Um, we do know that there's been some activity of the Australian Defence League in our own Defence Forces, but action has been taken to weed out those sorts of people from our Defence Forces because they are the ones that have absolutely no place in our society today. We are very proud of our multicultural history here in Western Australia, and I know myself and um, all members of this House, from, as I said, both the government and the opposition, that I share um, the delight in going to citizenship ceremonies with, are all um, very quick to embrace the differences that we do all share. And it's important that we do recognise our differences and respect those differences and that we all get along together in a very peaceful and tolerant way. There is absolutely no way that the, the, that the actions of groups such as the Australian Defence League or the Australian Liberty Alliance Party, another group um, which comes under the Q Society, uh, should be allowed to survive uh, in Australia and definitely not in Western Australia. So I just wanted to this evening go on the record firmly to say that I fully support the Islamic Council of Western Australia in their call uh, for action to be taken uh, against this group. Um, and in this letter that Dr Janaid sent to me, I just want to read one part here where he says, Australian society was built on the foundation of advance, advanced fair Australia, which we all take pride in. And it is true. This is one thing that all of those people in the Islamic community who I come across do take pride in. They take pride in the fact that they are now citizens of Western Australia. Some of our um, sisters and brothers from the, the Muslim societies have come from war-torn countries, from countries where they don't enjoy the freedom um, that we all have in the, in the democracy that we share. So, uh, members of the, of the House, those of you who may be able to attend the meeting that's being held um, on the 21st of May at the Multicultural Centre in View Street, North Perth at 5.30pm. I would urge that some of you do try and attend that meeting to show our support uh, for the Islamic Council in their call to outlaw this group and that once and for all we try as, as much as we can, in every way we can, to stamp out the hatred um, and, the, and the vile things that groups such as the Australian Defence League um, are trying to promote um, in this country. Um, and again, I urge all members to take note um, that the, uh, the people who have come to live in Western Australia, who've become Australian citizens, who've done the right thing and embraced our way of life and follow our laws, and they do take their responsibilities um, seriously, should be given all the protection that anyone who is, who's been born in this country or come to this country uh, in any way uh, should be given. Um, and I urge all members to in any opportunity they can to decry uh, the actions of Mr Geert Wilders, the Australian Defence League, the Q Society and any other society uh, that promotes racial hatred in the way that they do. Further member statements? The, uh,